What is up guys, Giant Tsunami Zero One here with another FIFA 18 tutorial. Today we're going to be discussing all the new skill moves in FIFA 18. There's quite a few new skill moves. Some are really, really effective. Some are not so great. But we're going to be discussing all of them and how to do them. As always though, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future tutorials. And if you haven't checked out my previous ones, make sure to do so. Alright guys, we're going to start off with the two new skill moves that aren't necessarily the most useful, but are still fun to use and do have their uses in certain situations. We're going to start off with the Akocha Sombrero Flick, which is a 5 star skill move, so you really need those top skillers in order to do this move. Here you're seeing Neymar taking a nice little run. He does the nice little Sombrero Flick and it just confuses defenders quite a bit. You saw them looking around and it's a really useful move to get the ball up in the air for a volley and it's just a really nice change of direction so it does have some uses but since it is a five star skill move it's not gonna be that great you do this just by holding the right analog stick in the direction you are running that's all you have to do hold the right analog stick in the direction you are running also really good to get it for a nice little pass it sort of works out that way there. I did the skill move and since there was an under attacker right there waiting for it, he's able to drop it off for him and take the shot and score the goal. So it's got multiple uses. It's not that great. Shouldn't be something that you're using all the time in FIFA 18. But in certain situations, it could be a nice little change of pace and obviously it looks pretty cool if you actually are able to pull it off. Next, we're going to have the forward sombrero flick, which is a two-star skill move. It looks really similar to the Kocha, not as much air or as much flair, but it can be done by a lot greater amount of players. So it has its uses. It's really useful for situations like this with Aguero. He's able to do the sombrero flick to flick the ball forward and maintain his speed without slowing down too much in these breakaway situations. But it's very important. The ball has to be airborne for this to work has to be airborne and it's just great for those lob bounces that are bouncing a little bit it's really hard to control if you do this he's able to just flick it ahead of himself and keep your speed keep that breakaway again all you have to do is flick it instead of holding just flick it in the direction you are running next move guys these two i already have tutorials on so if you have not seen them yet make sure to they'll show you more examples and more in depth on exactly how to do them and when to do them so the first one is the bridge skill move again a two star skill move here you're seeing ronaldo it just looks awesome when you actually are able to pull it off he passes the ball around the defender and then he runs the other way and they converge on the other side very important you have to be like a meter away and then hold the rt or the r2 button and flick the analog stick in the direction of the defender again hold the rt button flick the right analog stick in the direction of the defender if you do it right and at the right time and again this is an advanced skill move because your timing has to be exact about a meter away from the defender last skill move guys we're gonna be talking about the cruel turn super super effective it is a variation of the fake shot so how to do this move you want to start by doing the fake shot so slide your finger from the shooting button to the passing button as you see there sliding is much easier than just pressing them individually and then moving the left analog stick in the opposite direction of where you're running so if you're running to the right into the left you want to move the left analog stick and so on and so forth so here you see an example of Neymar he's just able to do this really really good to switch direction while maintaining speed um, again this is a one star skill move so anyone can do it but the higher your ball control the higher the skill rating the better he's going to be able to do it, the less speed he's going to lose while doing this, and the quicker change of direction. So obviously, those Neymars, those Ronaldos, they're going to do this skill move better than some of the slower players. Really, really useful to cut in on goal, as you saw right there. You're really able to confuse those defenders, do that quick change of direction, and put the ball perfectly for a first-time shot, as Modric just did there. You're going to score a ton of goals. This is my favorite new skill move, and I believe the best new skill move in FIFA 18 so definitely check it out definitely incorporate it into your game but that is it guys I hope you guys liked this tutorial if you did please give a like comment and share with all your friends click on one of these boxes check out some of my other plays like my rest of my tutorials my top five videos in my formation guys and don't forget to subscribe for more